Hello, active traders, and welcome to Small Cap Swing Trading Success. I'm Ken Calhoun, your host, president of the original Day Trading University and Trade Mastery, coming at you live here on uh, August 21st. It's uh, Tuesday here as we get underway with today's session. I wanted to welcome all of you for being here. As always, all information is for educational use only. No advice or recommendations about what to buy, sell, or hold are being provided. And by watching this, you do not make actual trades. It's all to learn in a safe, intelligent, focused learning environment. Anyway, you may have seen me in stocks and commodities and money show and the fact that I really prove that I trade with brokerage and tax return proof, I think is kind of cool. It puts some authenticity to what I try and accomplish for you guys. Plus all the technical expertise and over 30 articles I've published. And I've been in CBS Market Watch and all these other places. Anyway, and I know I won't be speaking at the expo this year. Unfortunately, I got invited, but I'm not going to be able to make it. So, anyway, you may have seen me featured all over the world. That's cool. If you're still losing as a trader and trading losses are frustrating, let's jump into what you're going to learn tonight. How to trade strong breakouts, risk and reward P&L potential, how to swing trade stocks under $10, and some success strategies based on lots of years of experience. So let's go ahead and get on with it. And again, thanks to all of you for registering. Right? We broke 450 resistance marks, so over 450 of you registered for tonight. Great to see another epic turnout. You're in the right place for intelligent professional trading. Anyways, one pattern that I want you to start learning, and I've got lots of them, so I'm going to blaze through them tonight for you guys. I'm going to give you successful patterns. What we see here is an ascending triangle and an uptrend. It's all kind of basic, right? Ascending triangle in context of uptrend. The key that I add to the mix is we have increasing volume down here, volume confirmation. And the main thing is a large green breakout candle that's at the right side of resistance, right? Here's prior resistance. Well, I'm going to draw the line over there. Prior resistance ends here. Large green candles are often a precursor to new breakouts. So when you're trading stocks of any kind, but especially the ones under $10, two critical components to look for are things like strong trends. You can always look for candle patterns. Name that pattern. And for more on candles, learn from my colleague Steve Preston. And only learn candles from Steve. Every single other educator who purports to know about candles, they make errors routinely. When I audit their, their, you know, their uh, their webinars, they screw it up. And Steve, so learn from Steve. But anyway, I did. But anyway, the point is that's a bullish engulfing, right? It's a pivot. That's great. Since we can't turn back the hands of time and go back here and buy it up at 340, but it's near five, we can look at the right side of the chart and see where it's going to go. So we're going to see where things head. Let me ask folks to uh, just a quick question. Um, how is the audio? Let me. Uh, we had a bit of audio issue earlier this morning, and someone's telling me it's a little choppy. If so, I can call in on the phone to clarify. Okay. Just a second. Let me switch over to the telephone. All right, traders, I'm calling in on the telephone, and I just wanted to double check that it's sounding good. Thanks, John, for the heads up. Is that better? Can you hear me crystal clear and clean? Let me know. I'm always here to help. Much better, yes. Much, much better. Great, better. Okay, thanks, folks. I appreciate it. Yeah, for whatever reason, the GoToWebinar audio has been a little bit choppier. So anyway, back to it. I'll, I'll extend the time tonight by just a bit. I'm old school. I use landline telephones because they have superior audio quality. Bump Bum, bum, bum. Anyway, large green candles, learn them, love them, live them. That's what I trade. Above the high, though, right, we have resistance at the whole number five. So we may want to look for breakout if it's able to climb north of the five. 
this is one of my swing scans members picks. I'm sorry, small cap scans members picks. The long trigger is 520. So can you see why? 520, that's the, I mean, this is in the actual members area for my regular paid members that they all got uh, on uh, Friday, actually, Friday night. Uh, but anyway, ASNA, the long triggers, we want to go long if it breaks over 520. So let's take a look at some of the patterns here. I'm not going to go through every single alert, but I want you to start learning the patterns to get up to speed on exactly how they work and how they can help improve your trades. The next one here, we're going to go through 90-day charts, and then we're going to drop down into the 15-day charts because those provide another look, kind of a close-up look, kind of putting a magnifying glass on the chart. But this illustrates the importance, one of the key principles that I found. You have my word on this. I've traded millions of dollars worth of stocks, uh, and I've learned the difference between what generally works and what doesn't. And one of the keys to successfully swing trading the under $10 stocks is to not do the pop and drop like penny stocks that are zigzag up and down and all over the map. You want to have high volume, high volatility, but the most important criteria is a strong longer term directional trend to work with. You know, and that builds confidence in the investors, not just the speculators and gamblers that trade the pop and drop penny stocks. Uh, those are very haphazard and health and risky, dangerous to your trading account balance usually because you're usually on the wrong side of things. To counteract that you want to find charts that are strong trending charts. Trend your friend, and one of the and they're very difficult to find, by the way. So I spend a lot of that's why the small cap scans is such a underground hit with my traders because I go do all the heavy lifting and find the charts that make sense. But anyway, let's look at patterns. So that was one large green candle uh, breakout near a whole number of resistance. Context of a in this case a reversal pattern with. A large green candle occurring at the right side of a bullish cup or a congestion zone. And that often will lead at some point to a breakout continuation. So my long trigger, though, you'll never ever see me buy anything with a nine in it because that's resistance area. That's the sell area for people who've been in earlier. Now would be a fine time to lighten up or sell at all. The long trigger is up at 520. Let's move on and jump into some of these patterns. One of the things that I, I want you to be on the look out for is always going to be large green candles and also in the case of pivot charts like this I want you to see how fast it travels through the 50 simple moving average which is this red line the 100 simple moving average which is the blue line and resistance here at the 200 SMA which is the black line and one of the strategies that I've done in my own swing trades for both the under 10 and higher priced instruments is to trade within these trading bands you know that's that's a trade setup like trading within the lanes of a two-lane highway. You go long there, you sell into the resistance here. You go long again, you sell into resistance, then go long again once it breaks to a new high. So using simple moving average lines can provide a really healthy roadmap for recovery plays in pivot charts, ones that have been up and they sold down and they're starting to recover. The earliest place you want to go long is the recovery of the 50 SMA. Our next chart is ATRS, and this one's a really spectacular breakout. You can see the same pattern where we've got a, let me draw the horizontal resistance here. You got a large green candle here, parked at the right side of the cup pattern. And this is a long-term bullish cup. And you can see it recovered above the 50 SMA. And what's kind of the poker tell for those of your fellow Hold'em players, the poker tell is the first sign of large green candle under resistance. The confirmation candle is over here. Okay, now that's how to say the trick to trading breakouts successfully. And you know, I'm one of the world's foremost authorities on breakout trading, which took me 20 years to get, but I'm here. But one of the things that I learned is it's not about just buying new highs because anybody can do that. Uh, the trick is to buy above new highs at prices that's likely to attract a wave of new buyers so that you don't get into false breakouts and choppy charts and whatnot. And that's especially important when you're critically, vitally, must have foundationally important when you're trading stocks under $10. Because by nature, they often do not attract big waves of institutional money flow because they're speculative and they're troubled, right? They're, they're instruments that are either small cap or speculative or not ones that are worthy of 
the big players money on wall street so you don't see big play you know big money players are going to play you know the fang stocks and blue chips uh trading stocks under ten dollars requires an entirely different set of technical trading skills and trade management skills so one of the things that i think can really help you as a trader is to be on the lookout for especially strong what i call outlier charts characterized by things like large green candles and and wide point ranges or wide volatility that's another trick of the trade too is when you're looking for the inexpensive stock plays it's important to trade those that have you know a decent range preferably a point or more though it's not necessary it's good if you have you know a stock under four or five dollars six dollars a share has a point point and a half of trading range and the reason is if you have choppy charts you know if you're trying to trade something back when it's in a narrow trading range like back here you often get a false breakout and it chops around you want to wait instead until it gets hot right it's uh, it's in wall street talk we'd say it's in play institutional volume is in and it's starting to run up you can see three million shares a day traded that's another quick safety tip too it's one of my stated goals uh, is to always try and protect you folks from dangerous charts because it's in our shared interest it's in our mutual interest for you to stay in the game for as many years and hopefully successfully as possible it does neither of us any good if you guys blow up your accounts and go away and go flip burgers at mcdonald's or something so or, or whatever or you lose all your money and your wife gets pissed off and says stop trading and you don't trade anymore anyway the point is having been there done that got the t-shirt uh it's in our shared interest for me to keep you guys as safe as possible and so to potentially do that i like to give you safety tips to stay clear of dangerous situations one of which is trading stocks under say 500,000 shares daily volume on the cheap charts for the more the higher priced instruments the mid caps you know the 20 30 40 dollar share instruments have a minimum criteria of a million shares a day uh, for the cheap stocks at least 500,000 shares is reasonably good but what you do not ever want to trade are the small caps that a lot of these kids are out there trying to tell people to trade that only trade you know like 120,000 shares a day because they're easily manipulated and those guys will front run it they'll load up the boat and they'll issue a buy alert and they'll sell to the their their uh, traders as the price goes up and they manipulate price illegally uh, by front running and that, that kind of stuff with cheap instruments you know so uh, that have low volume so safety numbers trade instruments with good high volume that's another quick safety tip and all of this is kind of baked into you know the approach that i take with my members in small cap scans uh every single week what you guys get as members and those of your members you know how good the alerts work right we've got the symbols i, I pick my top seven because that's a good manageable number and this is the ones for this week right now and follow and see how well these alerts work out and keep me to it and you'll say oh yeah he's right anyway uh, i put the earlier week's tickers down here for reference as well and instead of doing webinars i just record a quick 10 minute video where i go over each of the charts on both the 15 day and the 90 day chart basis uh, and give you the video every phrase usually posted every Friday evening uh, and that it's for the upcoming week ahead and I got both the current week and the previous week uh, for you and that's in the small cap scans members area so anyway that's the service that I provide to help navigate choppy waters with these instruments now what do we notice about this chart one thing i want you to start doing from a price projection standpoint back to professional training is when you look at resistance areas much like looking at what happens the day or two after a gap and the answer is usually not much uh, when you see uh, a breakout a cut pattern like this uh, what you want to pay attention to carefully is what's the volume especially doing after it breaks new highs and that's a very good volume breakout confirmation technique is is the volume significantly higher than earlier volume which this really isn't i'd like to see volume up at four or five million shares and price up near 720 730 that would tell me that it's likely to catapult on up to the high sevens or maybe the low eights for successful trade if the volume is not high at a new high price if they're not convergent like that uh, i'd still take the shot because i'm a price action trader but on lighter share size i'd be more conservative so the point is pay careful attention to this region above resistance breakout from a volumetric standpoint a volume standpoint and make sure that you do see an increase in volume does that make sense because what we want is 
price at a place that's attracting new energy and new attention from institutional big money traders as evidenced by the size of the volume bars. And if the volume bars are not significantly higher, that means you just have average trading volume, which does not necessarily correspond into a continuation of the price to make a successful profitable breakout trade. So that goes in the whole bucket of how to avoid false breakouts is make sure you're using volume confirmation and see if the price action does continue up you know, the roughly the same slope of the line, which I like these 45 degree angles, right? Where it keeps running up like this. If it just goes sideways and chops and pulls down, you wanna be very careful about considering the trade. But anyway, today it did take out the new high, which is, which is nice. Got a nice spike up, an open range breakout, a pullback to support, kind of a bounce to the middle and sideways price action. But it's starting to, it's starting to wake up, so that's good. Here's another chart. It's moved up, it's pulled back down, it's holding support at the 50 SMA, uh, but it's not breaking out to new highs. Similarly with large green candles, whenever you see a chart put in a large red candle, that's to be seen as a sign of caution, right? We want to be careful about any long breakout because sellers were able to pull it down quite a bit during a recent session. So we want to be careful about that. Same thing, here's another quick warning sign. If you see something, remember what I told you guys about bounces above moving average lines? Well, when this, you know, this one broke above the 50 SMA, which is all well and fine, uh, but then it stalled at the 100 simple moving average line and that acted as resistance and it pulled down. Does everyone see this resistance behavior and price action? It's like it tried to climb up out of the pit, but got pulled, dragged, kicking and screaming back down well, it was not able to break over the simple moving average and hold. It just did a little quick move up, but that acted as resistance, and so it's down here. Now, when you combine that with one of my strategies, which is using whole number of breakouts as resistance areas, that tells us we want to, <clears throat> based on this chart pattern here, excuse me, stay clear until <clears throat> this guy breaks north of eight, because that's up here is likely to be a good attractive place to bring in a flood of new buyers. If we don't get the price action up there, it's not as safe a bet and it's more likely to kind of be choppy. One of the biggest frustrations, and tell me if, if I've got this right, but is dealing with choppiness in your charts, the lack of consistent breakout strength after you put on the trade, right? An old Wall Street <clears throat> saying is that good trades are usually right from the start. So if it starts to lift up and runs, got a momentum runner and that works out great for charts you know like this one or this one once you get in a good trade it's alive and it's like light them up and it's, it's a good trade but others if it's trying if it's struggling and it's trying to run into resistance and pull back those are more dangerous trades you want to be cautious with those and the last good one so out of all of these we've got maybe half of them are alive and kicking and doing well and that's great so you got a narrow list, a short list or maybe three or four out of seven that are worth considering and that's you know for my small cap scan service anyway the point is here look at this guy what happened in the days following let's be kind of like a market detective kind of like uh, you know like watching the tv series elementary with lucy lou because it has lucy lou in it and the guy who plays Sherlock Holmes is pretty good too. But the point is you want to be like a market detective or a police procedure like Castle, which I missed. That was a good TV series with Nathan Fillion. But the point is uh, like a police procedure, CSI or whatever. You're, I like the one in New Orleans. You look at what's the, the, the crime scene or whatever once it breaks to new high. What goes on? Now here we had some uncertain kind of red candle and a doji here. But we got a light, we got a nice green signal candle here and it started to light it up. So now it's starting to break out to new highs. The key is pay careful, close attention to the price action behavior in the day or two following a price action breakout to a new high. Now, is this supported by volume? Yes or no? Do we see an increase in volume? No, we don't. Look at the volume bars. Aha, I bet you didn't notice that until I mentioned it. Welcome to, Welcome to my world. I'm a professional. That's what we do. Look at my 30-odd articles in Stocks and Commodities Magazine or all the articles I wrote for Equities or the now 
no longer with this Active Trader magazine back in the day. And you see this pattern where volume is flat like this and price action is going up, that's not as strong as the chart pattern in which you've got volume bars. I would prefer to see the volume lift up to say over 10 million in a steady uptrend along with price action. Whenever you see this pattern, the divergence of price action to volume, oftentimes you will see uh, trouble ahead. So it's a great breakout, but play it tight. I'd be more cautious and nervous with this kind. I'd still play it because I'm a trader. That's what I do. I'll buy new highs. That's what I do. I buy high, sell higher. I'm a breakout trader. But because the volume is not confirming it, kind of like the wind under the wings, uh, the rising tide lifts all boats, all that kind of stuff, the volume here is not increasing while price is going up. So that's kind of a red flag. It's still worth taking a shot because of the strength, the underlying technical strength of the breakout, but because volume's not increasing, uh, we play it a little more uh, safely uh, with a uh, with tighter stops or trailing stops. So those are the two chart bases you want to look at. The two charts you want to look at is the 90-day, which is this guy. So you can see major directional moves and candle patterns. And then what I also teach traders in small cap scans is the patterns on the 15-day chart. And that gives you kind of a close-up look. Everybody sees a gap continuation, right? That's my favorite pattern in the world is a small gap that continues or window, if you will. And candlestick terminology. We've got a small gap that continues on up. That's all well and fine, but how do we know it's going to break out? Well, you don't yet. What you do is make sure you draw your technicals. Here we've got, again, one of my favorite patterns is an ascending triangle. Did a little false breakout, a little fake out, a bounce back off the low here, and then skyrocketed on up to new highs, up, up, and away. This is also what I call an acceleration ramp, where you've got a steady uptrend and then a hockey sticks into a sharper angle, 45 degree type breakout. But do you see the, you know, the technical approach that makes sense? It's all about patterns and pattern recognition and trade management combined with especially strong charts. You know, if you're going to swing trade stocks under $10, they better they better look like this. You know, or if you were, if I was running a, a hedge fund or something, and you guys were my my traders on the trading floor. And I was giving you a, a technical heads up or a pre-game, you know, pre-market game plan strategy session, you know, at eight o'clock before the bell. This is the kind of, you know, what talking I would give to you is make sure that if you are trading stocks like this, they have this kind of chart. And the good news is, you know, you don't have to go through all that stuff, do all the heavy lifting yourself. All right? Does everyone see the acceleration ramp? Let me. You color it. It's where you get a steady uptrend. I always speak on these at the Money Show events because they work so well. It's a good pattern. At a steady uptrend, and there's an article in Stocks and Commodities I wrote on it too, and then a sharper angle breakout. Those are the kind of patterns that really make sense to focus your energy on as an active trader because they do have good volatility, good directional moves. So breakouts, gap continuations, and acceleration ramps. So my question to you is how much better could your trades be if you had an intelligent set of alerts plus a video walkthrough, which is what I deliver in small cap scans each week. And you know, ask how many winners we get each week. If you get just one, if you get just one a week, it's more than worth uh, enrolling in the service. So hopefully, you get it maybe two or three, you know, at least a few a month, and hopefully two or three a week or whatnot. So, anyway, a few what I call secrets for trading stocks under ten dollars. Uh, you do need to see specific entries. It's not enough to just have a, way to, a watch list. The watch list is helpful. Where I come to the rescue with traders is I put in the long triggers at places that I know from experience, and you know at least uh, my estimate of places that are potentially uh, good to avoid false breakouts. So, for example, with that ASNA chart, I expect if it does a false breakout, it'll do it right now, say between 4.9 and 5.1. So instead, I put the long trigger for the members at 520. So we hopefully dodge a bullet and get in on a winner and stay clear if it doesn't keep running, right? So that's that's one of the key benefits to being a member of small cap scans is you get not only the, the great charts, but you get specific entry triggers to work with to learn from as well. Let 
Number two, you want big breakout charts with volume, good con confirming volume, and large trading ranges, and good relatively strong breakout patterns that make sense. And you know, I put a lot of work into this stuff. I'm an expert in technicals and in trading, and hopefully this you know gives you gives you the fish as well as teaches you the fish. And to be honest, uh, giving you the fish is you know 10% of the benefit. The more strategic benefit, you know, is learning the patterns as I discuss them in the video each week. That's that's kind of the real secret sauce to all this is learning the pattern recognition skills in context of live charts in current markets. The specific alerts and the tickers that I give you each week to illustrate that is just kind of icing on the cake. And you also get you know high quality video downloads as well. So anyway, what you get is seven weekly alerts each weekend, downloadable strategy video, and I keep it really quick and short, you know, usually maybe eight minutes or so, so kind of like a YouTube video going through each of the seven charts on both the 15-day and the 90-day chart basis to highlight any key patterns that I see that I think would be helpful to you to learn about. Members are at specific entry prices. And I could put in some big number, but I'll resist the temptation and just say, uh, if you want to try it, it's only $7 for a three-week trial. Auto renews at 97 a month, uh, but it's available for half that for the annual plan. Uh, so it's a good deal. It's smallcapscans.com. Bum, 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 bum. Any questions? I'm going to go back to the charts. So. I like doing business, and that's all well and fine, but I'm a trader and a teacher at heart, so I like spending you know, 99% or 90% of my time on, on the dang charts. Anyway, lots of videos here at the Small Cap Scans page uh, to continue your education for free. You can look at some of the videos on the page. You can read dozens of comments from traders who, and many of you are them, so thank you for posting your comments earlier. And it's only for short-term swing trading. Question, how long round trips? Uh, usually anyway, anywhere from one to three weeks. You may get lucky and it may skyrocket up for three or four days right out of the gate and then you take the money and run. But I like charts uh, for swing trades. I, I'm a swing trader who usually trades no longer than a month or so for round trips. Uh, usually two to three weeks. Uh, we'll do it anywhere from one, two, three, uh, two to three weeks. Anyway, you get all this stuff. I put a lot of work into this for you guys because I want to, and that's a picture of our dog, Doji. I, I call her that because she's very indecisive, a little Shih Tzu. She weighs all the 10 pounds to drop the drip away. I, I love dogs. They're like little little furry people. I like dogs better than people, but I digress. Anyway, you get a lot of stuff here. Um, you know, and you can take a look for yourself. If you do want to upgrade to annual, I've kept the launch sale open this first year even. I was just going to keep it open for a month or two, but so many people have been getting it. I thought I'd leave it open. It's only four ninety seven a year. You have my word, it's well worth that. But if you're not sure if it's for you, then just do the three-week trial for just $7. And then if you want to upgrade to the annual plan, or if you're currently one of my monthly members and you want to upgrade to annual, it's only 47 a month, which is a deal, right? That's uh, Actually, it's only 41 a month, but it's 497 a year. So doing my math here, it's only 40 bucks a month, which is really cheap for quality professionalism like this. So anyway... So you can click there to do the 497 annual plan, or if you're not sure uh, if you want it or not, you know, just do the three-week trial, and it's money-back guarantee on the trial, so zero risk. Operators are standing by. Act now. Actually, not. But anyway, small cap electrons are standing by on the internet. Smallcapscans.com. Hope that it gives you some good intelligent thinking, you know, like what I went through tonight for you guys, and gives you a kind of really healthy look at some of the best chart patterns, why to trade them. But does everyone see why if, you know, it's very much the truth. You have my word on it. If my life depended on me helping you guys make money as traders, this is what I would tell you with all urgency is make sure that you're trading strong, multi-week trending instruments like this guy that actually make sense and that are likely to continue versus chop and drop penny stocks or one hit wonder stocks. And that's ones that spike up and either do a complete drop back down to support or a mean reversion and then chop and all that. And those are very dangerous. It's much smarter as an active trader to trade charts that have a continuously moving trend for at least several weeks because that's likelier to attract interest from larger players and people that actually have capital to trade 
because of the consistency of the trend. All right, well, we've got just a minute left. I don't see any questions. I guess it's late and it's a Tuesday night, but hey, good time to have everyone here. So anyway, small cap scans, learn it, live it, trade it, join it, try it for a few weeks. It's a good service. And I like to give you good, honest, you know, step-by-step -step based on real experience feedback on how things work and what doesn't work, because I've done both, right? I've made every mistake in the book and then some, and also had lots of successful trades. And I've learned the difference in, in these things like large green signal candles, consistency of trends, waiting until things break north of moving averages on pivots, volume confirmation up at new highs for price action triggers, and the rest of it makes perfect sense, right? I mean, hopefully everything I've covered tonight makes great sense technically, and also from a trade management standpoint, I like to bake in a lot of trade management training into everything I do because that's the more important piece of the puzzle than simply looking at technicals. Technical chart patterns are all academically interesting and, and that's great, but the money-making aspect of trading is all about your P&Ls and risk management and keeping tight break-even stops wherever possible using scaling and position sizing every single time you trade where you can. You know, for example, if I buy this guy up at What's my trigger on Office Depot? Let me check the members area. ODP 350. So my long trigger on Office Depot is to wait till 350. So if I do this, let's say I buy 500 shares at 350 or 1,000 shares or whatever at 350, where would be my next entry trigger? Well, you can look at some tips in the members area. For example, what I say is to scale in every one point. So for example, if you buy 350 on the long, the next place that you would trade it to add to the winning trade would be way up at 450. And maybe it takes a week or two or even three to get there, and that's fine. Use 50 cent trailing stops to lock in wins. Uh, you know, use an initial stop value of no more than a point, preferably even tighter, but do be sure to add to your winning trades. That's an important missing link that I think a lot of traders struggle with is they put on a trade and then, and then what? You know, let's say it runs from 350 to 450 and 480, and now they've got a live one and they've got a winning trade and they've got all this money, unrealized profit in their trading account. They're trying to figure out what to do. And then they wait too long, and then before you know it, it's back down to what they get in at, and they should have gotten out earlier with profit intact. So make sure that you exit early is one of my tips as well. I was mentioning that to my live room members this morning. Still at 450. Anyways, I think that'll wrap us up for tonight. Wanted to thank all of you for being here. And again, it's, you know, 99% or 90% whatever content and very little pitch. I wanted to give you a good kind of an overview of the kind of charts, at least the ones that I like to trade and the ones that I like to cover in small cap scans for my members. And hopefully you'll be one of them, right? At least try it out for a few weeks. No risk at all. It's $7 for three weeks. Uh, and money back guarantee on the seven dollar trial even so you can join with paypal and makes it easy so anyway thanks uh, for everyone for being here the question from dave is trading open a day trading focus yes it is where's the link uh, you can go to smallcapscans.com frank let me show you exactly the link it's on this page. Scroll down. I know it's like a, a long, a long page, but I had a lot of stuff to say, and I wanted to put it all on one page instead of splitting it up. So you can just click subscribe or activate your test drive, uh, or you can use Visa, Mastercard if for some reason you don't like PayPal. Some people don't like PayPal. Amazingly, uh, I love PayPal because you know you can manage your your order, and they act like an escrow service, which is kind of cool. That you know one of the biggest the is it came as a surprise to me, but uh, maybe it shouldn't, given how pessimistic I am about trading educators, but it came as a surprise to me. In my survey, I asked that if you haven't joined, why not? And they said that a lot of people in the survey said that it's because with other people's services, they made people jump through a lot of hoops or make a phone call even to cancel a service and try and get talked out of it and all that kind of crap. I don't do that. I'm very honest. I run an honest business. Anyway, PayPal is uh, great to use to subscribe, which I highly recommend because you can, I even have directions on how to cancel 
if you want to cancel here. I even I'm the only trader and educator I know of in the whole industry that even gives you hot links on how do I cancel a subscription in PayPal? And there's the link on the PayPal site uh, and it tells you how to cancel. There's a couple of different articles on how to cancel. So you can log into PayPal once you join and just click the cancel if, if you don't want to stay. But hopefully it'll stay like all my smart traders do. And you know the annual plan is only 497. But do the trial for seven bucks for three weeks. That's a good way to get started. And then make a decision from there. You got a few weeks to figure out if it's the right service for you. So I like to design this as an alternate offering for instead of cheap, horribly risky penny stocks. And it's not that I'm a hater, a total hater of penny stocks. I get some of the appeal, but the problem that I have with them is that they're easily manipulated by the educators because their volume is thin and order fills are really tough. And chart patterns tend to be inconsistent at best. So I don't like the super cheap under $2 stocks. Uh, small cap scans of stocks. Oh, thanks. Uh, Larry's asking price range uh, on stocks covered as $2 to $10. $2 to $10 per share. Is, you can see, for example, these are a typical. This is this, this week's list. Uh, they're in three, four, five, six, seven dollars a share. So that's kind of the sweet spot. If you're going to trade cheap charts, that's the right ones to trade, or ones with strong trends that have uh, relatively good trade potential that aren't too expensive and aren't too cheap. I see John's asking, how's it different from swing scans? Swing scans, you guys should watch the alerts video that I put on my YouTube channel because it explains the differences between all the services. And there's a table somewhere that tells you the differences too. But uh, swing scans is for stocks between 20 and $50 a share for swing trades. And it's got a weekly webinar uh, as well as downloadable video. Small cap scans is for small cap stocks between two and ten dollars a share. And instead of a webinar, I do a or I record a, a quick ten minute video or eight eight to ten minute video each uh, week for you guys. And so this they cover instruments at different price points. Then trading the open is for stock day trading. And chart scans yet another service is a daily watch list usually for stocks in the twenty to fifty dollar share range. And Forex videos is for Forex. And Breakout Mastery is for Breakout Swing Trade. So offer a big array of different services. And the neat thing is, you know, it's only seven bucks to try it out for yourself and see what you think. So hopefully that's honest and fair and authentic and actually works and makes sense and gives you a good watch list. And again, if you, you know, after what I would do is try to set, here's what I would do, try the $7 trial. You say, okay, the guy knows what he's talking about and he does have some pretty good picks, so let me upgrade. So cancel the $7 trial and then rejoin as an annual member, or I can do that for you. You can email me and your support ticket. Support ticket me and I can help walk you through what to click on and where to do that. But anyway, if you do want to stick around, um, you know, I would advocate upgrading from the monthly to the annual at just 41 a month. So anyway, that's about it question and recording the video. I will see. It depends on whether or not it recorded the audio. I don't know if GoToWebinar records phone call audio, which is what this is. I'm I'm, I'm still holding the telephone in my hand here, cradling the landline in my left hand here half an hour later. If it did record it, I will send out the recording. Hey, sure thing, Derek. And a question from Frank. Hey, Frank, how long do I hold these? Uh, anywhere from one to three weeks usually. Thanks, John. Saying, okay, thanks. I'll check the videos and join the trial. Yeah, watch the videos. I put a lot, a lot of work into them. I work my ass off for everybody, right? I'm a one-man company. I resisted the temptation to hire, you know, Susie the secretary or virtual assistants because I found out that I've tried many times over the years, but they don't care enough about the customers as I do, right? Because you guys know I provide, you know, legendary support. Even though I'm a one-man company, I'm very conscientious and Whenever someone sends in a support ticket, my goal is to answer within, you know, several hours. And so I, I do everything myself, but I've tried hiring support staff and they tend to screw everything up and not get it right. And by the time I explain what they should have said, I could have done it myself 10 times over. So I work hard for you guys. But anyway, yeah, here's some videos. So check them out on the embedded from YouTube on the uh, on the small cap scans page so for more tips and strategies and all that. Most of these are recorded late last year or early this year. So they're relatively fresh. 
that's a good service. I stand behind it. I think it's a good way to learn. Here's kind of me talking head style, telling you more about how it works. And there's a free preview of a sample members video from January of this year. I should probably put a more current one up, but a few months ago, anyway, there's a preview video for what the members video looks like. And like I say, they're always under 10 minutes, usually five to eight minutes, maybe up to 10 minutes where I walk you through all seven charts, the patterns that I see, and the rest of it. So, plus you get the alert. So, anyway, thanks for being here. Appreciate it, guys. Take care, and I will, I'll do another one of these in another few months. I like to keep this as an ongoing series. This is kind of a way to familiarize you with what's covered, and also my, my approach and my attitude, my technical patterns, the intelligence, the walkthroughs, and the rest of it. So, anyway, thanks to all 451 of y'all for registering. Uh, I will see you guys in the next, next one of these, which I think is later this year. And then I'll be doing another one early uh, in 2019 already as well. So, anyway, take care, folks, and I'll see you next time. Well, thanks, John. Saying sounds great. Not enough people care about the quality of the work, and I appreciate your dedication. Yeah. I used to be a corporate training consultant and quality engineer and all that for Fortune 500. So I've got a you know, professional background. I used to teach MBA courses for private universities. So I've got a very strong, you know, kind of blue-blooded corporate Fortune 500 background that I bring into this as a solo entrepreneur. Uh, and I, I, I miss that lifestyle too, but I like this better because I can reach more, you know, hundreds if not thousands of people and have a bigger impact than I can if I'm working with a single company, you know, doing training sessions or facilitating team building with several dozen people. Instead, I can reach thousands with my platform. So, yeah, I appreciate that. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Take care, and I will uh, wish you the best. So, anyway, smallcapscans.com, that's the correct place to click, and that will forward you to the page at the Trade Mastery site where you too can register and join all my members. So anyway, it's my newest alert service. It's been around uh, just under a year and it's been really popular so far because people are asking me, you know, how do I trade? The, the, some people have smaller account size, you know, and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with starting small. The only crime is staying small, right? But uh, a lot of folks with accounts under 20 or 30,000, you know, they have a small account size, like two, this is ideal for people that have accounts, say a couple thousand, up to 5,000 or something like that uh, or less uh, because the charts that we cover, you know, two, three, four, five, six dollar charts, so relatively affordable and still also have really strong, exceptionally good breakout chart potential. So that'll do it. See you guys next time. And uh, thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Bye for now.